What's going on everyone? Cornwall King here, back at you with another video. And in this one, we are going to be opening up a few of these wrapped penny rolls that I picked up here. So as you guys know, the cost of copper and copper nickel is on the rise. So I figured why not pick up a few of these. Now, unfortunately, these are a little bit harder to obtain than the Eisenhower dollars per se, or even half dollars. So I can usually get half dollar rolls easier than I can get pennies. And I think the main reason for that is uh, most of you know, pennies, nickels, dimes, things like that get used in circulation as to where I'm sure all or most of half dollars and the few banks that do offer Eisenhower dollars, um, most of what, what they're looking at is clients like us that are picking up to search them. So let's see what we can find though in these bank rolls. I'm sorry that took me a second. I don't normally open coins like this, but I think we're gonna we're gonna start too, so we can keep better control of what we've got. So right off the bat, we'll just start to throw the uh, newer ones off to the side here, and let's see what we can find. It's uh, 94. We want everything pre 92, or sorry, 82, I believe it is. So that's uh, 2013. That's definitely newer, right? Yep, that's newer. 2019. 94 yeah we've got a lot of the newer ones so we're striking out so far maybe someone already beat us to it huh I'm not sure how circulated these are let's check out the rest of them here that's a newer one as well uh, these might be harder to find than I was thinking huh Probably just so many in circulation. There's the 75, so there's our first one. And we're almost halfway through. I wouldn't say halfway through, but we're getting close. There's an 84. Nope, didn't quite make the cut there. Let's zoom out just a little bit here. What was this one here? That's that. Oh, that's 83. Close but no cigar. So we will keep our 75 there. These other few that fell, 2006, 2000. Let's see what else we've got here. 2016, six, six, 2004, 17. Let's see, uh, 2015, nope, nope. What is that one there? That's a 74. Looks like we've got another one. Let's see, 97. 2016, nope. 81, we just barely made it, huh? 81D. All right, cool, not bad. We've got a few of them here. Oh, look at that, is that a 77? A 77 in pretty pretty good shape that's not one that uh that one's not bad to put in into a book maybe it's a nice 77 let's go ahead and throw that one up there 2020 17 one cent when they make this in 2009 but tell you what, I didn't, I don't remember seeing too many of these. I'm not sure if you guys have. This actually looks in, uh, looks like it's starting to have tonings of copper there at the top. When I guess on the entire back end of it. That's pretty neat, but at the same time, it sucks that it has that, uh, that kind of damage on there or, or natural toning, however that may have occurred. I know that top layer is copper there, so we'll set that one off to the side. 
We might send it back. We might not. 2011. It's an 85. It looks like we just missed it by a little bit. What is this one here? 1988. 1988. Same kind of effect as we've gotten that other one there. 1985. And that sucks that this one missed it by a few years. It's actually not in, well, I guess I spoke too soon. The back end is a little bit out of shape there. 2021. All right, so here's pretty much, we've got the, I guess it would be 55. Well, with that one there, 55 coins that didn't make it. And then we've got the four coppers that we picked up. 95% coppers. Um, and then this one here, that is a 2009. That has that really nice uh, obverse one cent. Now, I know most people say don't clean the coins. But this one, I think it's just a uh, one cent piece that's kind of far gone anyway. So I might just clean this one up and keep it because I don't have one of these. And... Um, what's the best way to clean this if you guys were going to do it i know some people have done it with uh certain chemicals uh other people have used uh i think it is a uh, baking soda for certain coins and some people have used like just a packet of hot sauce so uh, again this is probably one i just want to keep so if you guys could help me find the best way to kind of clean this one up without necessarily damaging the coin and uh, if, if uh, you think it shouldn't be cleaned at all, go ahead and leave that comment down below too. And uh, hopefully I can get some help on this. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.